In this example, we want to determine whether this series converges or diverges by using the ratio series test. So again, what we need to do is we need to uh, take the limit of the ratio of the nth plus one term and the nth term. And then from there, we can see whether it's going to converge or diverge. By, so if it's, if it's less than one, if the limit is less than one, that means the series will converge. Okay. Uh, if it's greater than one, that means the series will diverge. If it's equal to one, then it's inconclusive. And then we'll have to use another series to determine the convergence or divergence. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the nth, the, uh, nth term and the nth plus one term. Okay, so the nth term is just n, n squared times two to the n plus one all over three to the n. Okay, so the nth plus one term, again, we're gonna replace n with n plus one. So that's gonna give us n plus one squared times two to the, okay, n plus two, all divided by three to the n plus one. Okay, so now we're gonna take the limit, okay, we're gonna take the limit of the nth plus one term over the nth term. Okay. All right, so that's going to give us n plus 1 squared times 2 to the n plus 2, all divided by 3 to the n plus 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the reciprocal of the nth term. So that's going to give us uh, 3 to the n all over n squared times 2 to the n plus 1. Okay. All right, so then we get the limit. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the parentheses. I mean, sorry, go ahead and remove the absolute values here because there's no uh, there's no negative, uh, negative signs here. Okay, so then just like last time, I'm going to group things. So I'm going to group by the uh, polynomials, then we have some exponential functions. Okay. So we have n plus 1 squared. So I'm going to put that over n squared. And then we have uh, 2 to the n plus 2 over 2 to the n plus 1 times 3 to the n all over 3 to the n plus 1. Okay. All right, so all right, so let's uh, let's simplify the exponential parts. Okay, so two to the n plus two. Okay, this over two to the n plus one. Okay, this is equal to two to the n times two squared. Okay, and then the bottom here we have two to the n times two to the power of one. So this part is going to give us uh, right two to the n's cancel out. So this is going to leave us with four squared over two, right? So we're going to get two. Okay. Okay, and then the other part we have three to the n all over three to the n plus one. So that's going to be 3 to the n over 3 to the n times 3. Okay, so this 3 to the n is going to cancel out. That's going to leave us with 1 third. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so I have, technically we have, okay. n plus 1. Okay, over n. Okay. Times, okay, this part. Okay, this part gave us 2. Okay. And this part gave us 1 third. Okay, so then we have the limit as n approaches infinity. Okay. 
So this is this part here, okay? This is just, you have degree two on top, degree two on bottom. So you take the ratio of the leading coefficients, okay? So that's gonna give us one, okay? So we have one, so we have one here, okay? This is gonna be one times two times one third, okay? All right, so, so basically, okay, we've already taken a limit, so I don't need to write the limit here. So this is going to leave us with, okay, so as n goes to infinity, this is just gonna give us one. So basically we get two thirds for, for our solution. Okay. All right. And that is less than one. So that tells us that the uh, series uh, converges absolutely. Okay. Okay, so it's in n squared. Okay, so this converges absolutely. Okay, and that's what we want.